Hello, Mark Crossfield here. Uh, we are at Marmanor Golf Course, Mercy in Spain. Courtesy of your golf travel, we've got more Q&As coming at you through the mobile apps. This one for Matt about JPX power hitting. Let's get stuck in. So, question. Hi, Mark. The videos are awesome. Do that, Steve. Got Steve on the camera here, the buzz man. The videos are awesome, he says. They're brilliant, they are. <laughs> uh, thank you, in the past 18 months, I've gone from 32 handicap down to about 17 handicap and joins the club, he says. I have trouble with consistency. It's one for you, Steve. Yeah, uh, I'm listening. <laughs> I find I'm using 80% of my power and I'm fairly straight here, he says. Good control fade. But when I want to hit, uh, find a bit more I slice really comes in. Uh, when he's putting his power JPX reference into my hits. I feel it's my hand release and holding off at impact. Any tips for getting uh, a better strike when using a little bit extra that we sometimes need? Thanks, Matt. Thank you, Matt. Good question. Um, look, he hits a little bit of a fade, he's saying, and then when he tries to hit harder, it turns into a bit of slice. Now, I would say I'm hitting most of my clubs at around maybe... 90%, maybe 95 at the most, 100%, I'm very rarely absolutely caning a club. So playing at 80% is not a bad thing. I mean, Steve, what about for you? What, you know, what, 80%, 90%, what would you call your... Yeah, I like, I'd, probably, not... I'd probably hit it a little harder than you. I'm, I'm, yeah, but that's just, but you're still at your percentage yeah. down, I would say. But when I want control, I'm definitely easing off the swing. Well, the thing I've noticed, I mean, you'll notice from these videos, I play with hitters who often hit the ball further than me, but they're not always further than me because when they're trying to hit fairway, they do ease back. That's what I do. You see what I mean? I play with Gorilla James and Steve hits it further than me. But often, as you'll see from these videos, we get up there and there's not much in it. Where if you put us on an open range with a launch model, they can generate more ball speeds, more club head speeds when they're not really focusing on hitting the target. So staying here at eight percent is a good thing. Now look, you want a bit more power and not get that slice. You're, you've already said that you're a controlled fade. Maybe, I mean, I don't know because I haven't seen your swings. This is pure speculation. I would, you know, as I always say, go and get a lesson and find out why your reason is for the, the bigger cut coming in. Lots of people I see try and hit the ball further by trying to turn faster. So maybe rotating this way faster, which often can send the club further across the ball. And then if the face control to that path isn't there, that's where your exaggerated slice can be. Also, when you change the way you turn to hit the ball with more aggression, the strike can vary. You can be getting bigger cuts, maybe with your driver or longer irons, because you're not hitting it in the centre of the face. So really, it's a case, I would say, of going and getting a lesson. But maybe next time you're on the range, give a go hitting a few shots, maybe trying to feel that you're hitting the ball harder by just literally moving sideways more. So on a downswing, feel like you're really moving across. And perhaps get a way of trying to just spinning your body loads faster. Like I said, I haven't seen your swing, that's pure guessing, but certainly something that's worth trying on the range before maybe booking your next lesson. And if you find that has an influence, go to your lesson and explain that, and they'll measure you, hopefully, if you go to the right places, and show you how it's changing your swing. So look, we're on the second hole, Marmanor here. I've got a seven iron, and I'm actually going to hit this. It's 60, 161 yards. I'm going to hit it easy, gently. I'm not going to hit it 100% to find the distance. You see what I'm doing? It's an eight iron hit really hard, but I'm going to try and hit a controlled seven in there. So you're not always having to run at that full percentage. Let's give it a go. Finding target is always the main objective here in this game. There you go, easy seven, just onto the right side of the green. Hold your line. Yeah, just onto the right side of the green. Take that. Thanks for posting the question. Thanks for buying the app. Thank you for watching the videos. Hope that helps. Speak to you soon. Post comments down below. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel, also thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social, the more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well, just follow the links, all in the description. Come and join the show, get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.